Hello, All Your Bass Chris here. This is a video talking about how you can compress your CD based games into a slightly smaller format called .chd. This is a, a modern emulation format and it takes all of the CD audio and it compresses it into FLAC, which is a, a really good lossless uh, compression codec. And this can basically squeeze down your CD based games to half their size, which is really useful for a lot of the Mr. Cores which support this now, such as Mega CD, uh, the AO486, Turbo Graphics CD, and a couple of others as well. But let's get started. So, what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to create a batch file which will do all of your CD images in one go, assuming you've got the folder set up correctly. So, here we have in this folder, we have Snatcher. This is a Mega CD game. And there's already a CHD in there, which we'll get rid of, because uh, obviously I tested this beforehand. So this is how it will look if you've got hold of the Snatcher um, Mega CD game. It has a Q file, and then it has lots of bin files. These are data and audio. Also, I have a bin in a queue for the PC version of System Shock, because this will work on both in one go, if you like. You need to get hold of a copy of MAME first. So this is the latest executable downloaded straight from the MAME website. I'm going to use 7-zip to open up the archive. You can just double click if you want, but uh, I'm, I'm going to avoid do the installation. When you extract the archive for MAME, it will have all of this in here. We are after this file here, chdman.exe. There we go. And I'm now going to drop that in the directory above the directories where my games are in. We also now need to create a batch file to tell chdman.exe how to process the files it finds. Now, with a bit of digging up, I got the information I need from the Discord forum, the official Discord forum. Um, I've combined two different uh, results into one. And this has given me the best results so far. So what we have here is a batch file. Well, it's not a batch file yet, but will be. Um, and it's basically explaining, it goes through each folder, it finds anything that's .q, .gdi, or .iso, and then it will convert them, and then put them back in the original folders, which is great. So what we have here is the text we need to put into the batch file. So when you're going to create a batch file, right click, in Explorer, new text document, call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it CHD. And then rename it, hitting F2, going across to where it says .txt and changing that to BAT. It'll be asking if you want to do that, say yes. And now we have a batch file with nothing in it. If you can't see the file extensions, then that's just in view file name extensions. So if you've got it looking like that, if you click that, it will make them show up. Once you have your bat file here, right click on it, edit, it'll come up blank. And then all you need to do is copy and paste this. Now I'm going to put this um, text uh, into the video description to make it easy for you to copy and paste. And then once you've done that, close it out and hit save. Now, all we need to do is now run that bat file. So if you give that a double click, you'll see it's now jumped into the Snatcher directory and it's actually started the conversion already. Now, this is a, a bit taxing in your PC. Your mileage might vary. If you're running a Threadripper, this will go... But on my system, it's, it's fairly speedy. I'm running a 3600X uh, AMD 5th Gen Ryzen. Here we go. Now, the important thing to look at is this ratio here. As you can see, it's compressing it down at, at the moment, 47%, 48% now. So the original, uh, it's going to half the size, basically. If I right click on System Shock here, hit Properties, you'll see that the original file for System Shock is 367 before conversion. So 
so we are 83%, 85% complete. And we're halfway through. It's now going to compress System Shock. As you can see, it's gone into the directory with System Shock and it started to compress that. Again, we're getting over a 50% ratio of compression here. That might go up or down depending on, you know, what it can find. Let's have a look in the snatch directory while it's doing that. So we should still have all of the original files we had, but we should also now have an extra .chd file. So I think Snatch was about 500 and something megabytes, and now we're down to 327. So from now on, instead of all of these extra files, we'll only need CHD file for your emulator or for the mister. And System Shock's been done as well. So if we go in, let's have a look at the size of the CHD file. So we've gone down from 375 to 220, which is, you know, a nice, nice drop in size. So now I'm going to show you how to remove the unnecessary files after the conversion. Now only do this if you're absolutely sure that your conversion's worked. Perhaps give them a test first and then delete them after you've got them on the mister. But if they're on Windows, all you need to do is it's star in the search bar dot bin and hit return. And it's now going to pull up all of those bin files. So there's the system shot bin and these are all the bin files for Snatcher. Control and A to select them all. Right click, delete. And then do the same again for .q files. There'll only be two of these, but obviously if you're doing a directory of thousands of games, this is a quick way of doing it and then delete again. And now if we go back to the directory, if we go into the folders, we'll see that all we have left is the .chd file. So let's get these uploaded to the mister. So I'm connected to my mister with WinSCP. We'll go into the CD directory here. We've got some in here that are actually full-sized ISOs. And we're gonna take System Shock across and drop it into here. Obviously this will go across quite quickly because it's smaller and filed than the original. While these are transferring, I'd like to say a, a big hello and thank you to all the new subscribers who have come on. Also, anybody who goes on and comments and asks me a question, I love that. Um, and I love to help out as much as I can. So feel free to ask questions. Uh, I'm expecting a few on this video as it's quite an involved process. By all means, I'll help as much as I can. So that system shot copied across. We're now going to go over to the Mega CD. And this is a USA game, so we'll drop it into that. Oh, I've got a stature in there already. I'll tell you what, just for fun, let's delete that. This is actually the full-sized ISO, as you can see there. So we'll get rid of that, though. And we copy the folder across. The Mr. Core is expecting CD games to be in their own folder. That's why the steps I've shown you here, they give you the correct folder layout for Mr. and whatnot. And we're nearly across. Excellent. So now I'm going to fire up ah, OBS and we're going to switch across to the mister here. Okay, please excuse the jump cut. Um, on the footage I was recording, I noticed that the mister wasn't um, outputting any audio. So I've copied across the files. Let's uh, load up the Mega CD. Or oh, it's a Sega CD on this version of the mister I've got. This is very noisy, so I'll stop talking now.
So I inserted the Snatcher CD, which came up as .chd, and as you can see, the Mist is quite happy to read that. Should get um, CD audio for the speech in a few seconds time. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant in op... So, yeah, so you see the, the CD audio was coming across quite nicely there. You'll not notice any difference. Uh, the, the Mega CD's audio was pretty compressed anyway to start with. Um, I'm not opening that can of worms because there's quite a lot about that. Uh, Let's uh, now see how the A0486 core can handle opening up a CHD compressed ISO. Whoop. So if I now mount, go to my CD drive, this is the system shock layout, system.chd. Now, if I now go to D and directory list you'll see that system shock seems to be okay so if I type in uh, let's see if it'll read it install oh, that's got to be install O because it, it's expecting Windows seems happy enough install system shock Ah, right, okay. I think I've already installed System Shock on it. <laughs> and that's why I'm having problems. Well, that's okay. Go to, down to C. CD. Yeah, there we are, System Shock. Now we'll see if it'll just be, be happy with the CD that's in the drive. New Atlanta, Sector 11. Building 71G, 7 April 2072, 11.13 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum Corporate Network, 1.26 a.m. It's funny this, because it, it still uses the um, Sound Blaster. I don't really know what the CD version has added to it, if I'm honest. This might suddenly start going blah, blah, blah now. There we go. And my MT32 is kicked in. Oh, it's an MT32 mode. Right, so yeah, that seems very happy with that. So essentially, yeah, it's it's a fairly simple process and it works very transparently. It's nice to have a compressed format because um, we they had to, well, I say we, nothing to do with me. Um, they took zip support out of the um, CD, uh, uh, the, the files, simply because it was causing problems with timings. So having CHD rather than ZIP is a, is a better format for this. It really does neaten up your collection and it's definitely worth doing, really. So yeah, um, don't forget, check the description for the text I put into the bat file. And as for me, thanks a lot. I hope to see you again soon.
Ciao, Sarah, Alfie Fazir, Divit, and Tarah.